strong and keep your project running smoothly. A paper face metal corner bead provides dry knife and apply drywall compound to the drywall surface, extending just beyond where the edge of the corner bead will be by approximately two inches. Now, press the paper faced metal corner bead onto the corner and into place, making sure the top of the bead is aligned tightly with the ceiling. Embed the bead by running your finishing knife over it at a 45 degree angle. This will press out any excess compound and eliminate bubbles. Another way you can do this is by using a corner roller. If you're installing a corner bead on a long bulkhead, you want to ensure you're running the bead in a straight line. Do this by pressing the bead to the drywall and checking the alignment by running a 6-inch knife across the bead to ensure it forms a perfectly straight edge. Once you're done applying the corner bead, allow it to thoroughly dry. When the paper-faced metal corner bead is dried and is firmly in place, it's time to apply the first coat of drywall compound. Use a 4-inch finishing knife to apply the compound, making sure that the finishing knife overhands the corner bead's edge by approximately 1 8 of an inch, so the corner bead fills in properly. When you're done, allow the compound to dry thoroughly and then sand lightly to remove any high spots. To apply the second coat of drywall compound to the paper-faced metal corner bead, use a 6-inch finishing knife. Once again, make sure that the finishing knife overhangs the corner bead's edge so the corner bead fills in properly. Keep this coat as smooth as possible, feathering out the compound approximately one inch beyond the edge of the first pass of compound. Once again, allow the compound to dry thoroughly and then sand lightly to remove any high spots. For applying the third coat of drywall compound to the paper-faced metal corner bead, use an eight inch finishing knife. As before, make sure the finishing knife overhangs the corner bead's edge to ensure the bead fills in properly. Feather out this coat approximately two inches past the edge of the previous coat. Then, allow the compound to dry and, when it has, sand lightly. The corner is now ready for priming and painting.